I wasn't going to make a video about this because, you know, I'm cool, but here we go. Hi! So let's talk about Pokemon Go. For those of you guys that don't know what Pokemon Go is, I am really sorry. It is a game for your phone that literally virtually submerges you into the Pokemon realm, encouraging you to walk around their town, state, the world, in order to catch Pokemon. You know, like you do in the show. And it was probably one of the greatest inventions in the world. I mean, let's face it. No one wants to admit it. But everyone that's seen at least one episode of Pokemon was like, I want to live like that. And what do you know? It's actually happening. This game has only been out for a week, and it's already caused so much buzz and controversy that it's literally insane. First off, it is said it's already risen Nintendo's worth up by seven billion dollars. In three days! Second off, some people just don't know how to control themselves when playing this game. There's already been reports of people playing it in the Holocaust Museum, Auschwitz, and why do they have to make all the churches gym? I'm one of those people that feel like if I step within a hundred feet radius of a church, I will just start burning. So I haven't really experienced that part of the game yet. Some people actually dress up like characters from Pokemon series just to go out and search a Pokemon on their phone. There's even been reports of criminals using Pokestops to lure people into robbing them. Sometimes you just cannot have nice things, I guess, in this world. The funniest part to me about this entire situation are the haters. A large group of people are complaining about Pokemon Go and how it's a waste of time and it's so immature. The funny part about it is that people are complaining about it wasting people's time by wasting their time to complain about the game wasting people's time on Facebook. And then calling it immature while they're sitting there arguing about a game about Pokemon on a video on Facebook. Some people just need to get their priorities straight. All it's doing is making Nintendo money. I mean, true. That's what businesses do. I'm sorry that a company found a way to do what they do best, which is make money, and you can't take credit for it. I don't know why that makes you so salty, but life is hard. Now, I got the game on the first day it was released, and it has slowly been consuming my life. Now, I have never been a big Pokemon fan. So I had the Pokemon Snap on Nintendo 64, two Pokemon games on Game Boy, one on DS, and my parents used to buy me Pokemon cards when I was growing up. So I've been always submerged into the Pokemon world, but I've never really considered myself a Pokemon fan. I'm not crazy. But you know, after this game has released, I can't go a day without talking about Pokemon. It's weird. The amount of Zubats and Geodudes I have collected in these past few days is literally insane. And now when I run, yes, I do run. I know, it's very unbelievable. I run with the app on my phone. I can hear it in my earbuds. I am running to Pokemon music now. <laughs> I swear I'm not insane. The game is addicting, like every popular mobile game in the history of mobile games. It fulfills people's imaginations, but some of y'all just need to calm down. This game has grown an entire community in less than a day. It's a great game, it's beautiful, it's kind of cool, but at the end of the day, no matter how great this game is, some people just need the constant reminder that it is just a game on our phone. Still have to do basic human things to survive in life. Pokemon do not actually exist, only on your phone. You still need to feed yourself, Carol. Hours just out and about walking around trying to catch them all and all that stuff. I mean, go ahead, get that fitness promo, but like, do you eat food? The game is great, yes, and it has taken over a portion of my life, but I'm still human. I know when enough is enough. I can control myself. I still have my reality. I'm not crazy. Everything is perfectly fine. <laughs> now if you excuse me, I have a mouth to go catch. So like they say, Pika Pika. Pika.